that was Fireproof Match, and just to let you know, I've been joined in the studio with Under the Dogwood Tree. Hello, guys. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much for coming in. Tell me a bit about the band. Somebody come forward and tell me a bit about your band. Go. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are an Americana act um, from uh, around Edinburgh okay, and right. um, Billy and I uh, set up the band about sort of nine, ten years ago. We okay. played played as a duo for for quite a long time, mm -hmm. and then we decided to put an album in two thousand and thirteen. Yep. Um, at which time we decided to put together a, a bigger band, and most of the time we are a six stroke seven piece. Okay, right. Um, but you've got a slightly toned got, down got version. Four, got four piece tonight. We've got Billy around the corner here. People tuned in on Facebook. Hi. Billy, hello. <laughs> yeah, we'll get some. We'll get more him after. Uh, <laughs> That's plenty. Really, and <laughs> Sonic. Um, right. Let, let's uh, let's kick off with song number one. Tell me a bit about the first song we're going to play. Um. So this is called Let's Go Down to the River. Uh, it's a bit of a traditional uh, American folk style song. Um, and probably quite quite inspired by L Loretta Lynn, that sort of thing. Okay, uh-huh. Uh, quite retro. Um, yeah, we'll let you hear it. All right, we're good to go. One, two, three. Let's go down to the river and pray. Let's go down to the river and wash those sins away. Lord, excuse me, I can't explain the state I'm in. Let's go down to the river and sing. Tree right here in the sessions on 107.6. Thank you very much. I was almost singing along with that track. I've been told I'm not allowed to sing along. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Brilliant sound. What Americana thing. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
tell me a bit about your Facebook pages, your social medias, your YouTube, your Twitter feeds. Somebody step into the microphone, please. Well, I put some stuff on YouTube last night. Just just last night, actually, um, we put on some uh, band practice stuff that we were doing for this very gig. Uh -huh. um, and we've also got some stuff on there of us playing a gig in Marchmont. Right. And um, I think we're probably going to try and film some more gigs now, now that we've got a little recording rig here. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, it's it's definitely the way to go is to get some more stuff on social media, get more video on there, yeah. you know, get some get, get some live performances on there and stuff and try and get it a bit more out there. And it's good for booking gigs. People can see what the band are like. Mm -hmm. yeah. They can see how good looking we all are. It's really helpful, <laughs> you know. Um, and, I am, yeah, that's, that's um, we've got a Twitter, but we don't really update it. Our Facebook's really where we put most of our stuff. Yeah. Um, we're and recording a new, yeah, and our website, and we're recording a new album now. Recording our second album, and so we're gonna have the full six-piece band on that. And what we've got the ten songs, haven't we? Got yeah. the ten songs that we're I doing. Know, okay, we'll have a wee chat about that later yeah. on. About mm -hmm. the new album that we're coming out. Um, you gave me this this album. This yeah. is the the current one, or is this the old the one? debut album? The debut album. The debut album. The one and we'll, only. we'll mention this. <laughs> the one and only copy, possibly. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll mention this again uh, later on yeah. in the show. And um, so, if people want to find you on. Facebook, just, is it just under the dogwood tree? Yeah, yep. that's right. Under the dogwood tree, and their website is under the dogwood tree dot com. Dot com, absolutely <laughs> brilliant. Well, well, we'll just uh, crack on. Song number two, tell me a bit about the song, who wrote it, how was it written? Uh, this is one of my ones. It's, mm -hmm. um, you can usually tell my ones because they're a bit more morose. Right. Um, <laughs> but it's, uh, I don't really know what to say about this song. It's, um, yeah, it's quite. Quite morose, but quite uplifting as well, shall we say? Right. It's sad with a positive message. Let's go with let's go with that. So uh, he's a clown, but he's sad in the inside. Yeah, <laughs> this is about, uh, most, most clowns are. Yeah. <laughs> this is about not sweating the small stuff, shall oh. we say? Let's go for that. Um, but we're trying not to, and then still doing it because that's what we're all like. So um, yeah, but this is one of the rare ones that, that I sing. Um, so that's kind of fun and something a bit different. So uh, yeah, it's called Yesterday Is Gone. We all good? Yep. Some days are drama, words like pictures. Others like blood from a storm A roof over my head, it don't mean a thing When the cold lives in your bones Got a devil in mind And I'm frozen to the cold Yesterday is gone, tomorrow will be soon None of this will matter anymore Go. 
Watch the horizon claim your teeth But today's like any other Not one for women off my feet Got a devil in my And he can be so hard to ignore Yesterday is gone, tomorrow will be soon and none of this will matter anymore Got a devil in my mind But I'm showing him the door Yesterday is gone, today I'm still alive And nothing I could say would matter That was Yesterday Is Gone by Under The Dogwood Tree, right here in the sessions on 107.6. Again, thank you very much for that beautiful song. Um, you're right, that kind of sad, happy thing has gone on. It's good to enjoy that, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <Wasn't> that <happy? laughs> right, moving on, tell me a bit about your up-and-coming gigs and shows. You've mentioned off air Inverleaven, you've got Americana Night you want to mention. Um, yeah, so Inner Leiden's our next one, isn't it? Yeah, um, the Inner Leiden Inner Festival. Inner Leiden Festival, live and local, um, on Sunday the 20th of August. Um, we're also playing the Cow Shed during the Fringe. Are some you? Point? Yeah. <laughs> Question mark Thurs from the studio. That's a very good point, Thursday <laughs> night. <laughs> a Thursday during the Fringe, we're playing the Cow Shed on the Cow Gate in Edinburgh. Okay, right. Um, a late slot there at 11 o'clock. So, ch again, check out our Facebook page and you'll have all the details there. Um, thereafter, um, the exciting one coming up. It's probably the one in November, actually. We're supporting a, a band from Nashville called The, the Wild Ponies. At Cabaret Voltaire, and this is one that's um, is a charity do. It's an Americana night, um, with all the proceeds going for Gig Buddies and the Upward Mobility Project. All oh, right, okay, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So we're it's middle bank, yeah, I know, yeah, I know of them, yeah. We're doing a bit with them, so um, we're going to be opening the show with the Wild Ponies. We've got um, Blue Flint joining us as well, and another, I believe they may be a Harrington band actually, Drop Kick. Drop Kick are. Had, yeah, Harrington, yeah, I suppose, they are Harrington yeah. as well. I had so. Andrew Taylor, the singer from Dropkick, in here two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. So, the, yeah so they're on the bill as well. Okay, so right. that should be a really good one. So that's um, yeah, Friday the 10th of November, Cabaret Voltaire, £12 a ticket, all proceeds going to Gig Buddies and Upward Mobility Project. So check out the details of that. I think they've got a Facebook page as well, Americana Charity. Charity Americana gigs. Okay. Well, come some combination of those words, and you'll, you'll find well, it. We'll put a link on our Facebook page to your Facebook page to their Sounds Facebook good. page. So we'll link up all the social medias. Yes, Facebook right inception. Sounds good. Um, we'll mention the gigs again before we finish. We'll mention awesome. them later on. Uh, but we'll move on to track number three. Again, tell me about the song three. Who wrote it? Why was it written? What's it about? Um, it's it's about a fictional town. Mm which is maybe not the happiest of places. Right. Um, I, I, I think it was just a rainy day and, mm -hmm. and I was feeling a bit woeful. <laughs> Decided to write a little boys number and this okay. is what came out. <laughs> and excuse me, it's a different tuning intent. Sorry, right. not cool. Interruptions. <laughs> That's live video. <laughs> right. Not cool. And the track's called? It's called Sad Town.
Under the Dogwood Tree, right here in the sessions on 107.6. I've got smiles right in the studio. Thank you very much for that. That was quite a sad one. I, I quite enjoyed that. It, was... it fits the weather to do. It does. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a real mixed um, bag. I'm going to ask you a question that we haven't discussed. A bit of a curve rescue ball. number here. I know, curveball here. Yeah. We weren't there. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm going to. Um, where does the name come from? Under the Dogwood Tree. How did that come about? Uh, well, I, can't, I guess it goes back to when Billy and I played as a duo. When, when we set up, we, we played quite quite acoustically the two of us and, and it was sort of quite very folky actually we started off playing a lot of Chris, Crosby, Stills, Nash, Young, right. Joni Mitchell that sort of uh -huh. stuff and uh, we, we just wanted a name that sort of conjured up uh, America and, and you know the do dogwood tree is very mm -hmm. uh, typical of, sort of Tennessee and, and that sort of area of the states and, and just sort of sitting under a tree and playing some folk music that's sort of what it was all about. Yeah. I, I wanted to call a cyborg stick a but Alison was having one of it so it was right. under the dogwood tree one. <laughs> what could have been Billy? Really? What could have been? <laughs> yeah, my side project awaits. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, never know, never know. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to move on and talk about the album. The, this album that you've handed me and the, the new one that's going to come out. Um, tell me about this one. Tell, tell me what's on this one and why, why was it recorded? Where was it recorded? Billy. It was recorded in my spare bedroom and at Squinty Manor in Glen Boyd, which is my friend's house. He's got a studio there. Right. So we recorded the drums in Squinty Manor. Then we recorded pretty much everything else at my house in what was it? Great Junction Street yeah. and in Musselburgh. In a wardrobe. So, yeah, so we cross three <laughs> local authority areas. It's Musselburgh's part of East Lothian, so I can't. Okay. Yep, yep. So they've recorded and finished in Musselburgh, and then we held the album launch night in Leith at the Coburg House Studios, mm -hmm. which are having their open studios this weekend, actually. So there's <laughs> nice a good, the good, 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 good link to that. <laughs> um, and uh, that's a really great day out for all the family, and you can look at all the art, and you get free wine, so I mean, you can't really complain. I can't complain at all. And, um, anyway, back to us. <laughs> us. Um, so yeah, our album launch was there, and we had formed a band for the album launch, and we just loved it so much, we thought, let's just form a permanent band. Mm -hmm. so that's, that's what we the, did. The six dash seven piece. Normally, yep. but not tonight. Not tonight. Four yeah. piece tonight. Four piece tonight. Yeah. Sounded absolutely brilliant. I don't think we'd fit a double bass in the studio. We have had double basses in here before. <laughs> oh, right. Um, we had, oh, we mentioned it off air, the, the ukulele orchestra we had in here. Was that two weeks ago? Oh. There, was, there was eight of them in here. Oh, it was okay. a tight fit, but they were all playing tiny ukuleles. So uh. I don't know if a big double bass would, would fit. We have had one in before. Oh. Yeah, it's a shame we could have covered all the bases, but there we go. Oh. Oh. Get this right, man right. a French shell. <laughs> <out. laughs> this is why Billy doesn't usually get a microphone. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> Big stretch rules. <laughs> well, let's move on to chat number four. <laughs> <laughs> oh. tell, tell me about the fourth song we're going to play. Uh, okay, well, this is um, recently decided as nine. Yeah, this is going to be the title track of our second album. Okay. Um, so this is uh, in the company of ghosts, and uh, this is another of my sort of wishy-washy kind of ones. Um, really selling it here, but it's this one's kind of about all the songs that you half write. 
late at night or early in the morning and then you totally forget about them and it's quite sad that there's all these songs that are kind of okay. written and they're, but they're just, never heard they're never, but they're never heard and everyone forgets about them so the ghosts are the songs so okay. there we go just uh, go when you're ready this is in the company of ghosts
company of ghosts by Under the Dogwood Tree right here in the sessions on 107.6. Again, thank you very much for that beautiful track. Um, we've got time for one more song. Okay. We've got time for a fifth song. But before you go, before you shoot off, I want you to mention again about your up and coming gigs, your Facebook pages and your, uh, your websites, your YouTube channels, all your social medias. And we need to mention a friend of a friend that we all um, have. Yes. We haven't mentioned him. We haven't, no. We want to mention him now. Go I'll mention him. You mention him. Martin, <laughs> Martin Ross. I went to school with Martin Ross, and I did Martin Ross's job at the Bridge Centre. Oh. So, so yeah, yeah. Um, Martin and I are both um, Haddington boys. Um, uh, you knew each other at school, Kings Meadow, and then Knox. Mm -hmm. um, and only really got to know Martin a bit better, I guess, after school. Got more into music and played in bands a little bit. But now Martin's been a really big help for us recently. He does sound for us. Um, a monthly night we run at the the Leith Depot, right. at the bottom of Leith Walk, um, a night called the Americana Backroom Sessions, which is basically a a pretty chilled out, relaxed place for Americana folk country bands to come along and play tunes, meet each other, get involved with mm -hmm. other bands in the genre. Um, so we run that the last Saturday, thereabouts the last Saturday of every month. Right. Um, you know, other clashes depending, but roughly that. Um, so we're we're not playing the next one, but we've got a whole we've got a whole catalogue of great bands that play. So we're we're going to be back with the the Every Brothers and uh, the Humours, um, two bands from Edinburgh are going to be playing there on Saturday the twenty sixth of August. So it's it's free entry. We do it every month. It's a great little place to go. Great food, great beers, um, and great free live music. So great place to come along and yeah. support and get involved in it if you like what you've heard tonight. And if you're vegan, they do a great vegan platter. <laughs> they do. They do. They're a great vegan platter. So yeah. a plug for the oh, least Apple's vegan thing. platter. Yeah. Big you're shout out to all you vegans out there. If you're vegetarian, have the mac and cheese. Um, ah, yeah. And if you're not vegetarian, have the mac and cheese with bacon. So um, oh, there, there you go. go. Just like that. Yeah. Go. Right, base is covered. Your next up and coming gig is the Inverleven Festival. Sunday. Inner Leaven. Inner Leaven. Inner Leaven. Inner Leaven. That's the 20th Someone. of August. 20th of August. Sunday. Yeah. We'll be we'll be at the Americana backroom sessions uh, at the date in, in October if anybody wants uh -huh. to catch that at the, the Leith Depot um, and then we've got um, the Crafty Brew Festival in October uh, which is a, a Leith festival which is new a brand new festival so we're going to be playing the Sunday for that if you want to check out the Facebook page. Uh huh. Um, We'll have links to all of these on our Facebook page, yeah, yeah. so under and the Dogwood Tree, and our website www.underthedogwoodtree.com. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so tell me about this fifth and final track. Um, so this one we decided to play. Um, all the other songs we've played tonight have been uh, songs that we we reckon are going to feature on our new album, which we're currently um, in the process of recording. Um, there's a, a hope that we'll get this out before the end of the year. Yeah, that's right. what we're hoping. Um, so watch this space for In the Company of Ghosts mm -hmm. under the Dogwood mm -hmm. Tree second album. Um, but this last song that we're going to play <coughs> is called 20 Pounds for Redemption and it's, uh, it's, it's a song off the, the first album. So if you're interested in listening to some more, we've got this on our website. Um, it's also on Spotify and all the other sort of streaming music services. Um, you should be able to find us. Uh -huh. um, the first album was kind of probably a bit more acoustic um, in places, um, but mm -hmm. this one sort of represents. It's entirely acoustic. The first yeah, album. Yeah, it represents where we were sort of a few years ago. It's a mm -hmm. sort of, in, I guess it's a bit of a chain gang song in a way. <laughs> um, called Twenty Pounds for Redemption. <laughs> 